show you some really great features that your students might not know about with iBooks and iBooks Author. What you're looking at is my digital bookshelf on one of my iPads. Up here in the upper left corner is a textbook, Dinosaurs and Fossils, created by a second grade teacher. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and show you some of the things that your students can do. So when your students are reading their text and they want to make a note for themselves, all they have to do is hold their finger on a word and then tap highlight. They can choose the colors that they wish to highlight with and then tap on the little sticky note to the right. I highlighted the word extinct. So I'm going to put in my own definition of the word extinct. So I just tapped somewhere on my book for that note to go away. And now as a student, all I have to do to find my notes is to come up here in the upper left corner and tap on the notepad. There you can see the note that I just did. What's really slick about a student working inside of an iBook is that they can create their own study cards from their notes. So right up here it says study cards. If I tap on study cards, what I get is a flashcard in essence. So here's the word millions. I can flip the card and then I can come to my next one, extinct. That's what we just did. Flip the card and then there's the definition. So students can easily create study cards for themselves as they are working inside of their book and then go back and have some study cards right there for them. When they're done with that, all they have to do is simply tap on the word done in the upper right corner. So if you've got a group of kids that maybe have never worked inside of an iBook, it might be worth some time either show them this video or just model how they can interact with the digital content to make their learning experience more personal for them.